So it's Tuesday, February 23rd, and Rockstar has offered all revolvers in Red Dead Online for a 30% discount. So in this video, I'm going to look at the Cattleman, Double Action, Schofield, Lamat, and Navy revolvers, and I'm going to test their hip fire, range aim, and reload capabilities. Because if you're a beginner and you're looking at the catalog trying to compare those bar stats, it's kind of hard to read. So anyways, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, as always, Annie is going to be our human target for today, testing these revolvers. And we are north of Armadillo on the railroad tracks. And the reason why I come here is because you can use the railroad ties to mark off the distances and keep everything equal when comparing different weapons. Now, before I get started, I would like to just say I went through a lot of gun oil today cleaning these weapons. Between each round, I made sure I stopped, cleaned every single weapon to keep everything equal. Also to note is all ammo used was express ammo, which is the best ammo you can purchase. And lastly, besides this round, Annie was in offensive mode, so defensive versus offensive mode is also going to make a difference with defensive mode requiring more shots. In our first round of testing, we're going to use single and double revolver hip firing, and this is at a distance of 20 paces. First weapon is the Cattleman revolver, and if we slow that down, she drops between five and six shots. Hard to say you're firing so fast. Now we're going to dual wield the Cattleman revolvers. And if we slow this down, you can see Annie only takes four shots this go round. Now our next gun, we're going to do the double action revolver. And our first test will be a single double revolver. We actually have to reload this one. And now, if we slow it down, we can tell how many exactly how many shots. So, about 11 shots. Now we're going to dual wield the double action. And if we slow this down, not 10 shots dropped her. Next is a single Schofield revolver. And we're going to slow that down. It looks like three to four shots dropped her. Now I'm going to dual wield the Schofield. And when I back out of this, you'll see I, when I went to editing, I forgot to reload that first revolver. But with the Schofield, it doesn't really matter. It packs so much punch. I'm going to slow it down, and you can see the kill shot actually comes on the fourth shot. So if it would have been reloaded, I mean that kill would have been just a split second faster. So now we move on to the single Lamat revolver, and now the technical difficulty is going to start compounding. So you're going to see in this next clip, I lose some frames. Damn PlayStation, that's why it should be on PC. But anyways, I'm going to slow it down super slow for you. You can see one, two, three. The kill shot started coming on three, probably four. And now we dual wield the Lamat revolvers. And you'll see again, I forgot to reload the first time. By the time I get the Navy revolvers, I've got this figured out. But anyways, you'll be able to kind of uh, see the kill shots. I know we lost a couple frames in the last one. I'm going to slow it down again, super slow. So we're at one, two, three, four. Three to four, kind of hard to tell. I mean, again, we're hip firing, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly when the kill happens. Now we move on to a single Navy revolver. And we're going to slow it down for you. So on kill shot started coming in at five. Now we dual wield the Navy revolvers. And you can see this time I reloaded them. Yay. And we're going to slow this down. So three, four shots. 
So that wraps up our hip firing. Kind of interesting. I didn't spend a whole lot of time. Just, I just did one round on each weapon. But you kind of get the idea. But the uh, dual wielding, you know, sometimes you got a varying result. I, I think it all depends on how bad their body's recoiling up and down. I mean, because you might get a little headshot in there. But you're firing so quick, it's hard to tell. But anyways, now I'm going to move on to the uh, aimed range tests. So now I'm moving back to a distance of 60 paces. The first revolver will be the Cattleman. And I'm just sort of aiming at her belly, trying to land body shots. So, one, two, three, four shots with the Cattleman at 60. Now we move on to the double action. One, two, three, four, five shots with a double action at 60 paces. Now we have the Schofield. One, two, three with the Schofield at 60 paces. Next is the Lamat. One, two, three. That's the Lamad at 60 paces. And then Navy Revolver. One, two, three. So now after this, I'm going to move back to 80 paces. And I'm using the Navy Revolver here. This is 80 paces. Two, three. To reload, we got to reload. Four. So that's uh, Navy at 80 paces. Now I'm going to go back to Lamat. This is 80 paces. One, two, three, four. Lamat, 80 paces. And last is the Schofield, 80 paces. A little bite to eat real quick. One, two, three, four, five at 80 paces. So you can kind of see the ranges of the different revolvers. I only tested the Schofield, Lamat, and Navy at 80 paces just because they were tied at 60 paces. But anyways, you kind of get an idea of the Cattleman double action there. Obviously don't pack as much punch at range. And the Schofield starts to fall off before the Lamat and Navy. I could have went out further, but probably you're not going to be shooting revolvers at that great of a distance. So the last thing I'm going to do is just fire both weapons until they're empty so you can see the reload. And yes, I did clean all weapons before this test as well. So the first is the Cattleman. Second is the double action, and I am firing all five of these weapons as fast as I can. Third is the Schofield. Fourth is the Lamat. And the one thing to note, the Lamat is nine rounds each. It also has a shotgun round underneath, which I didn't test, obviously, in these tests. And fifth is the Navy. So let's talk recommendations. I can tell you most veteran players, if they're using a revolver, it's going to be a Schofield, Lamat, or Navy. However, if you want my recommendation, if you're leveling up, I would probably go with the Cattleman. 
You're definitely going to want to have a secondary holster as soon as possible, but you could probably get by with just one Catalan because while you're leveling up, you're probably going to prefer sawed-off shotguns. But when you get to the end and you're choosing between the three, I can tell you what I use most is the Navy revolvers. However, I spend a lot of time farming legendary animals and just bebopping around free roam. I don't PvP a lot nowadays. So that's one thing to take into factor. My, what I do use as my sidearms, though, most of the time, if you compare it to pistols and sawed-off shotguns, I still use the navies a lot. I just really like the fire rate compared with the range in free roam, completing, you know, fighting NPCs, or like I said, farming legendary animals. I think they work great. They're my preferred weapon. So that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, drop me a like, maybe even a subscribe. It would be much appreciated. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. I'll get back with you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.